Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aisha, if you don't know by now. And if this is your first time to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and let's get started. So today I'm doing another makeup look for you all. Today I'm bringing you a fall inspired makeup look. I've been really loving the color olive right now. We're going to use the leaves outside as our inspiration for this look. And it's just going to be a fun green look. It's going to be super simple and straight to the point. And I'm using just a couple palettes today. So um, right now I have my eyebrows done already. And then we're just going to get right into the look. The first palette that we're going to be using is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And I'm only using this palette for my brow bone highlight, my brow bone color. And we're going to be going in with this color right here. And it is the color Parade out of the Sweet Peach Palette. And I just put that color right underneath my brows just to give me a subtle highlight look. Because I don't want it to be too bright. Okay, now that I have that done, I'm going to be going with, in with the color Summer Young. Um, just to, I'm putting that right in my transition area. Next we're going to be going into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to be using um, this color here. I would, the only thing I don't like about this Morphe palette is that they don't have names but I'm using this color right here or no the first color on the second row right here. Do a slight cut crease look. And I'm not the best at these, but I'm learning. Now we're going to be taking the Sasha Buttercup powder and this little ankle brush here just to set the concealer on my eyelids. Okay, next we're going into the Saharan palette and I'm going to be using this color here. It's called Wade, I think that's how you pronounce it. This color right here is like a um, mustard. Um, neon -y green. I'm going to be going right into my crease with that color. And now we're going into the Nubian 2 palette by Juvius. As you all know, these are my favorite palettes. And I'm going to be using the color Egypt right here, just in my outer corner. Now we're going back into the Morphe palette once again, and I'm going to be using just this green color here just to put on top of my lid. It's like a green shimmery color right there. Part I'm most excited about. I finally got my hands on the Fenty Beauty Foundation, and I am in the color 370. And I've used this foundation like twice since I got it and I'm liking it um I just wanted to use it on camera today so you all can see like my color payoff with it and also I have two Urban Decay products here I got the all nighter and the quick fix spray it's the tra travel duo I'm doing a Sephora sale I picked these up and I just wanted to try them out before full size of them and I really 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 
like both of these. I like this one because it's like I really stay mad all day long. If I'm just wanting to run out the house or just do something real quick and I know I'm coming back in, I use the Quick Fix and it does really good as well. So I'm enjoying both of these products together. And I have found that the fit, the Fancy Beauty does dry extremely fast. So what I do is normally with my foundation, I put it all over my face, like dot it all over my face and then go in and blend it. But what I've been doing with this is I've just been doing certain areas of my face and make sure, making sure everything is blended out then going back in with another layer because I don't feel like this is full coverage I feel like it's medium coverage and I like more of a full coverage look I'm gonna just put a little bit on my face and I'm gonna start blending it in This is how two layers of the foundation looks on me and I just think, think it gives me more of a full coverage look. Um, some people say that they only use one layer but just for me I just think that this gives me the best look. And I really do like this foundation just to give a quick review on it. Yeah, Although that it does to me it dries a little bit too fast for my liking. Other than that, that's the only con I really can see with it. I think they give you a lot of product for the price. Um, it does retail for $34. You've heard thousands of people say this already, but this is just my small review. Um, I did not buy the whole product line just because I don't need it at all. I consider this being kind of a staple product in my foundation routine, so I definitely will be grabbing it again. And I think I may use this as like my everyday foundation, honestly, um, because it's easy to use. It is very soft matte i think the name soft matte pro filter i think it definitely lives up to his name um and yeah i like it so now i'm just gonna cont do contouring and highlighting different things um i probably won't film it just because i kind of want to keep the video short and i will come back with my finished look Just because I don't like my highlight to be too harsh, I go back through and blend everything out. Last, I'm going into the Shayla palette here in this gold color here and I'm using it in my inner corner. I'm using my clear mascara to go with my brows just to make sure they're in place. Okay, and to complete this look, I want to go in with these two brown colors. This is Coco Bean by Nika Case and Matte Liquid Lipstick. And I'm going over with this new color. It's um, just a just a regular plain new color I got from the beauty supply store. Um, the label and everything gets wiped off, so I'm not sure of the brand. But 
I'm going to line my lips with this. And I'm going to use my all-nighter spray just to set my whole look. And then it's the finished look, you guys. I will come back on here after I take my scarf off and get my hair together. But thank you all for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share.